Now I'm going to check all four wheels again. We've got it past the handbrake off and it's out of gear. The steering wheel is straight across. Right, I rock it back in two a couple of times and that gets rid of any steering stress out of the tyres. There's a couple of different methods I use. This is one method. I fabricated these metal frames which stand up against the wheels. So on one side I've got three contact points and they rest against the wheel. It stands on two adjustable feet. Place it against the wheel like that. And the three contact points make contact with the wheel. I've made it so the feet are uh, stepped out and that helps to hold it against the wheel. So I put one this side and then the other one goes on the other side. So I've got one on each side and then I take a measurement from the frame here to the frame on the other side and the same again there. Using these frames I can get some really accurate measurements. And they're fully adjustable. So with different wheel diameters. I've got holes here where I can move that peg in or out to suit different wheel diameters. Same here on that one. And um, the bottom peg, if that has to come up or down, can be adjusted on the on the um, adjustable feet. So they work well. Easy to use and uh, it only takes a few minutes to set it all up. Care has to be taken when making these frames. This top rail and the bottom one have to be perfectly in line that way because it's the top frame that makes contact with the rim here and here but the measurements are taken from the bottom frame so these top and bottom frames have to be in line. Right, I've got the frame set, one on each side. Now I need to take some measurements.
1841. Thousand eight hundred and forty three. I'm happy with that. Front wheels are towing in two millimeters. Now I'll check the back ones. One thousand eight hundred and twenty one. One thousand eight hundred and twenty three. So I'm happy with that. That's uh, back wheels are towing in two millimetres, same as the front ones. I'm showing another simple method I use to check the tracking, and for this method, you need four axle stands, two at each end of the car, two wooden battens, and two pieces of string. With some lead weights on the end. I rest the wooden battens across the axle stands on each end of the car and that helps to support the string lines. And what I've done with the battens I've put a, a shallow saw cut in the baton near each end so there's a saw cut there and there same again near the other end and the distance between those saw cuts is just a little bit wider than what the car is and also they're exact they when you put the battens side by side distance from the saw cuts is exactly the same on both buttons and uh, that's to get the string lines running parallel I use a good quality string line it's only just over a millimeter in thickness
Right, I've laid a wooden batten into the axle stands, one across the front and one across the back. I've dropped the string lines into the saw cuts in the battens. So now the string lines are parallel with one another. And they are at the right height so they pass across the centre of the wheels. And the car is positioned in the middle of the string lines. To get the car in the middle of the string lines it's just a matter of sliding the batten one way or the other until you get the measurement from the middle of the hub to the string the same on both sides. This measurement here from the front hub to the string is not the same as it is on the back because the back axle is narrower than the front axle. But by getting the measurement the same here on both sides of the rear axle and the same on both sides of the front axle it means the centre line of the car is in the middle of the string lines. So now I've got the car in the middle of the string lines to check the wheel alignment it's just a matter of measuring from the rim to the string there and there so there I've got 36 millimeters and there I've got 37 millimeters so that rear wheel is towing in one millimeter front wheel there I've got 24 millimeters and there 25 millimeters so again that front wheel is towing in one millimeter Go to the other side. Twenty five millimeters, twenty four millimeters, thirty seven millimeters, and thirty six millimeters. So the string line system I'm using comes up with the same results as I got with the metal frames. Metal frames are quicker to set up but the advantage of the string lines if one wheel is out, the string lines show you which wheel it is. Whereas with the metal frames, if there's one wheel out, the frames don't tell you which wheel it is.